Well, Antonio, I'm a former uh, school superintendent, uh, retired now, but uh, back in 95 we established something called the Training Renewal Foundation. Uh, it's an organization, a registered charity, that uh, is, devotes itself to uh, at-risk youth and other unemployed people uh, who are looking for training and uh, certification and other opportunities to uh, continue their careers or to get back uh, their uh, economic security. Uh, we've been involved over the years with a number of employers in the coffee industry, warehousing, uh, in the industrial uh, uh, use of uh, programs for uh, construction uh, and, and so on. And uh, we've actually trained thousands of people in that during that period of time. The uh, concept was announced back in 1994 with the closure of the former military base on the site and the government of Canada decided at that time that it would create a unique urban recreational green space for the enjoyment of future generations and to do so on a self-financing basis. Over many years the concept evolved and there was an international design competition held uh, that uh, introduced uh, Tree City and Tree City was the winning design concept which, had, which pictured a variety of different kind of activities on a 572 acre site and that that would inspire development and create a sustainable community within it. One of the big portions of, that, uh, of the, the site was this concept of a cultivation campus where community gardens, allotment gardens, uh, educational experiences will be able to happen through agricultural uh, initiatives on the site and, and contrasting the urban with the rural with our roots as, a, as in, a, in a rural context. Uh, we were very interested in what uh, is happening at Downsview Park and particularly because uh, uh, Tony Jenko is a former board member of our foundation and so there was a natural connection there. Uh, we saw Downsview Park as a, as a wonderful resource for educational purposes. So we made contacts with the uh, two school boards in the, the Toronto area. That's the Toronto District School Board and the Toronto Catholic District School Board because they have numbers of young, young people who are probably not going to continue in school, who are uh, probably uh, better able to learn uh, in the community uh, through uh, what we would call hands-on concrete learning than being academic in a classroom. So we thought the park was a, a wonderful opportunity for that to happen. We, after many years, finally received uh, control of the land back in 2006 from the original announcement. And uh, as a result, we were able to borrow some money to get, to get the park started and started to transform the site from a base to a park. And uh, that's something that is uh, personally very important to me, having grown up in the neighborhood and having seen all, all sorts of expectations built around the opportunities around Downsview Park and trying to make it uh, succeed. One of the things that the board was, 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 was very concerned about was how do we start to make the park real in the minds of people, not just in the concept but in reality. And the board, uh, the board of directors of Downsview Park wanted to focus on two particular themes, one of urban agriculture and the second of food. Uh, food and of course uh, water. And, and those, those themes were, were critical already in the Tree City Plan. So we put forward a number of initiatives. One is uh, the Hangar Grill, which is a food preparation uh, facility where we hope to train 10 people in, in food preparation to work in what is called the Roadhouse Cuisine industry. And uh, the, the second one that we looked at particularly is around urban agriculture. So the hope was that uh, through, uh, through this uh, exercise, developing an urban pilot project, we would be able to learn a little bit about the concept test some of these ideas and the board endorsed a three-year pilot project specifically around urban agriculture which include indoor and outdoor urban agricultural experiences and uh, we as, uh, as the team here uh, had about 9,000 square feet of greenhouse space that uh, we invested in and uh, about three total acres of land where we were going to do allotment gardens, community gardens, outdoors and indoors and, and working on that with a number of groups, urban uh, groups in, in the city of Toronto area to, to, to see how we can revitalize uh, this area and give some life to our concepts and then also learn over that three year period uh, what came the best of those ideas and then implement them ultimately in the cultivation campus of the park. The pilot project, and uh, obviously we're in the middle of the winter here so it's going to be covered with snow, is in this particular, in the north uh, in the northwest corner of the site at, uh, in Ke at the Keel and Shepherd area, just surrounding the building that hosts uh, the Toronto Region Conservation, another, another inspirational group for us that's been really uh, a mentor, a uh, kindred spirit in the quest for sustainability. And around that, the, the, three, uh, the, the three greenhouses are, going to be, are being built right now, and the allotment gardens will, 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 will also uh, be formed part of that, uh, 
of that process. So the three acre pilot is in here with, in collaboration with the various uh, uh, organizations that we're working in. And we're also going to be uh, uh, putting those uh, greenhouses in uh, with, with geothermal energy. So it's going to be innovative in that respect as well. So they're going to be warmed and heated through geothermal opportunities that are also going to be forming part of that particular building. The other thing that's very exciting to us is the idea of energy creation and uh, the, the fact that uh, geothermal is part of this project and looking at biomass as a means that it all fits together. So this is the area that the experiment will, talk, will, 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 will run for about three years, the pilot project, and then ultimately all the great learnings that will come from that will ultimately reside in the cultivation campus right at the south end of the park adjacent to this neighborhood that will then form part of our training, our educational opportunities, and one facet will be urban agriculture and those type of experiences. We hope to uh, create a, a program for hydroponic growing uh, so that uh, the young people that would be involved uh, in, in a hands-on way would learn some of the skills for green enterprise, for future employment opportunities. We know that the economy has, has not been supportive of manufacturing. We know that there's a need for, for futuristic approaches to what uh, the world of work is going to be. Well, certainly urban agriculture, for those uh, of us who uh, grew up in, uh, in uh, this part of Toronto, and certainly my uh, heritage being Italian-Canadian, urban agriculture is not a surprise to me. It's not something new. Uh, the backyard garden was a staple in, in my, uh, my backyard, certainly, and uh, we always benefited from that. It comes back from our, our rural roots. But many uh, uh, urban, uh, urban Canadians don't necessarily have that same uh, opportunity. So the, the learning is to see how we can transform wonderful sites like parks and make them sites that urban agriculture can thrive. You know, parks are about people and it's important that we bring people here in ways in which we can get, unite them with a common purpose and urban agriculture becomes a means to do that. Education, exploration and, 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 and sustenance. I mean, obviously this food is going to be of, of, of great importance to the community and now with the challenges of sustainability where we want to grow local and make sure that people understand and appreciate those opportunities, it gives us the full cycle of opportunities. We have a wonderful restaurant here where we can use the produce that's grown here. We have a, a farmer's market that forms part of our tenancies on the site. We can educate young people working with Dale Shuttleworth and the DEEP project becomes a great opportunity for us to coordinate and to, and to inspire young people about careers and opportunities and in ways in which they perhaps didn't see uh, self-evident uh, on the face of it in an urban context. Uh, our problem is that we really do need partners to be involved with us because we're a, a very uh, a small uh, charitable group and uh, we are looking to different uh, levels of government to, to be supportive of the program. We're looking for the private sector to be involved in, in the sense of, uh, of commercial operators, particularly in the greenhouse industry, because uh, you folks are, the, are the, really the pioneers in this field. And uh, we think that this would be a, a great demonstration project uh, to happen here at, at Downsview Park. So we're hoping that working with these organizations that have experience in these areas, bringing new organizations like the DEEP organization to the fore and having young people come together and working with the experts uh, such as the Leamington Grower and other experts that we can combine forces and really create an exciting pilot project that ultimately will help us make the cultivation campus the best it can be.